A Prayer for Guidance by Christine Brown. And what more can David say to you? For you know your servant, O Lord God. Because of your promise and according to your own heart, you have brought about all this greatness to make your servant know it. 2 Samuel 7, 20-21 King David spent years in battle, fighting enemies one after another, not to mention running for his life from the former king, Saul. However, at this time, God had given David a break from conflict. He enjoyed much-needed rest in his palace. Then, he got a brilliant idea. David felt guilty living in luxury while the Ark of God dwelled in a tent. See 2 Samuel 7, 1 through 2. He resolved to do something about it. He was the king, after all. Who better to build a house for the Ark of the Lord? David shared his plan with Nathan the prophet. Since God was with David, Nathan encouraged him to go ahead. There was just one small problem. God didn't tell David to do it. That night, God spoke to Nathan with an urgent message for David. God had a different plan for the Ark of the Covenant, and he needed David to step out of the way. Even though David's desire came from his best intentions, this job belonged to someone else. And through his mistake, God taught David a valuable lesson. Sometimes, making a decision solely based on our good intentions interrupts God's perfect plan. David took the correction as an opportunity for growing closer to his Lord. And with the heart of a servant, David thanked him for it. This is God's desire for us, too. In his firm yet gentle way, God teaches us to trust. And when we allow the Lord to guide our decisions, we find unmatched fulfillment. So let's agree to seek his instruction today. We can race ahead wanting to serve, but let's also listen for the times he says, stop. Then, like David, we can thank our loving Father for the training. After all, he's the best coach ever. Heavenly Father, thank you for your guidance. Forgive me for getting ahead of your plans and help me know when to stop and listen for your direction. Your ways are perfect, Lord. Thank you for offering gentle grace. In Jesus' name, amen.